My name is Benaz Farahi. I'm a designer based in Los Angeles. I've trained as an architect, but now I'm working at the intersection of interactive design, digital design, fashion, and architecture. I'm originally from Iran, a country with a rich history of art, architecture, and poetry. In my work, I explore the potential of interactive environments in relationship to human body, ranging from intimate scale of human body and wearables, all the way to architectural scale and the world of interactive spaces. One of the most challenging part of a design process for me is um, the actual idea, what it is that I'm trying to do. Because a lot of my process is iterative and happening through prototyping, but a bigger picture of what that project is about, what is the main idea behind the project, which a lot of times also is trying to bring uh, ideas from critical theory or feminism or humanities into the design is the most challenging aspects of the work. Part of my work is really addressing the sort of affective computing. I'm interested to see how materials of the environments are able to respond to human emotions. For instance, opal uh, is an emotive color that responds to emotional expressions of the people around. Similarly, in um, Iridescence, uh, which was commissioned by the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, the intention was to see how our um, fashion or wearable uh, item could respond to um, its surrounding environments. So if uh, your eyes are closed or if someone is blind, could sense the information from its surrounding environment even with her eyes closed. The cue for the project was uh, the hummingbird and the way that the neck feathers changed based on the orientation of the head. For me, the, the part that was really fascinating was to come up with the actuator to move the lenticular device. The other project that is very dear to me is Quest of the Gaze. Quest of the Gaze is a 3D printed cape that responds to onlooker gaze. Emilia Jones, who is an art critic, a scholar, and a fierce feminist thinker, is a great source of inspiration for me. The outfit that is um, sensitized to respond to the male gaze and to act, kind of change shape and act as a protective carapace for the body, or the pieces which involve the Iranian burqa, which kind of looks back and gives women wearing that clothing a gaze. So, you know, those are really exciting activations of theories that are usually quite abstract. I'm truly honored to be given this award uh, and to be recognized for my work. I'm extremely humbled and grateful. And I also want to thank my incredible team, especially Paolo Salvagione and Julian Chaipek for supporting me throughout this journey. And thank you for this award. I'm humbled and grateful.